Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to change the keywords in your data file that you got for your uh, WP Zon Builder um, for your Amazon stuff. Now, I basically I gave you a basic file that basically has um, you know Amazon books and and all this different stuff here. You know, um, you obviously want to change that according to your niche. So I gave you a little over it's 800 keywords. There is a file that has over 12,000 keywords in it, but you know, you guys are mainly doing niche products. So what you want to do is you basically want to open up this file and you'll find that file in your um, databases. Okay, so it's going to be in, um, let's see here. Doo -doo 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 -doo. So you'll find it in your, once you find wherever you, wherever you located your iMacros folder. I put mine in my libraries, but if you put yours on your, on your C drive, you'll want to go into your data sources and the folder that you probably have is, is Amazon. That's the one I gave you, or I gave you one with an Amazon list, but you're going to have many, many, many folders, okay? So you want to open up that database folder in order to change it, or you can just create a new one, and we go over how to create a new one on imacrosgeek.com. If you haven't registered, do so. Um, and basically what you want to do in order to change it is basically right-click and clear the content, okay? And it'll clear it all. And then what you're going to do is, now I'm not going to do that because I need this file, but what you're going to do is you're going to go to somewhere, wherever you get your keywords from. I get mine from Google AdWords. So you'll want to input a word, okay? And you simply go to the Tools and Analysis, and you just um, insert the word. And you can put all this other stuff if you want to. I don't do that, though. But uh, you can go into specifics if you want so I just put in a word so we'll I put in Nike okay and what it does is, is it pulls the keyword for you and it scrapes a whole bunch of stuff for you and it just goes on and on and on and on. it tells you how many keywords there are. what you'll want to do is is you'll want to download that file okay and you'll want to download like this has 986 keywords okay so when you click on that you download it it downloads it to a CSV for Excel so you just click download and then once you do that you'll have that folder there so then what you will want to do is you'll want to copy um, you'll want to open up that folder and sometimes you need to be very careful on how you do it so for example um, it it came across the, in the wrong it came across in a worksheet on this folder so I'm going to show you how that works see it comes up all screwed up so you want to make sure that it's always a CSV file okay so let me show you this. Uh, let's go to uh, let's go to jewelry. See, like on jewelry, I have a whole bunch of keywords, about twelve thousand keywords, pretty much. Uh, eleven eleven thousand eight hundred eighty one. So what you'll want to do is you'll want to just click, click highlight A, and then hit copy, okay, and then go back to your other folder, and then you just in you click on the the like for example, let me show you this. I'm going to copy this. Now I'm going to paste it in this. So on your other file, the Amazon file, you just want to go like this, okay? And you just want to hit paste. Okay? And then boom, there it is. Simple as that. All right? So you're going to do the same thing on the other one. Okay? So I'm going to clear this data, clear the content, and then X out of that. It's going to ask you to save. Yeah, don't save. Okay, so you can do the same thing on your Amazon folder. It's that simple, folks. You can change the keywords out, or you can just cre keep creating new folders. Okay, I hope this makes sense. If not, send me an email to support at imacrosgeek.com, and I'll get you your answer as soon as possible.